size and other uh, aspects of uh, theater design okay in addition to acoustics screen size plays a major role in defining the size of the theater okay screen size ranges from 9 meter to 9 meter by 3 meter to 27 meter by 9 meter height just imagine 9 meter height 9 meter height is almost three stories high it's a huge screen St if you are going to design a imax theater then the standard screen size is 22 meter by 16 meters okay now i'll explain you how to arrive at the uh, room size or how to arrive at the screen size based on the uh, either room size or screen size okay so now you know the uh now you have identified some uh, screen size or if you know the i know the screen size here then once i know the screen size draft a center line and then mark an angle of 36 degrees okay this angle should be of 36 degrees okay there comes your last row this is the last row okay and this is going to be your first row so first row is 66 degrees last row is 36 degree this particular region this particular region is called the sweet spot you will get maximum you get best view in this particular region uh, i hope you people uh, uh, know that the last row seats are usually first filled in the theaters because it has very good view okay so while designing a movie theater or even auditorium uh, try to avoid providing center aisle because center aisle uh, uh, compromises all the uh, it uh, takes away all the best uh, seating locations okay now we'll see how exactly you have to design a seating location okay so while designing seat if you are going to provide two it's like uh, if you are going to provide two side aisles you are going to provide aisles on two sides like this then the center seat can go up to 14 numbers without any break okay as per fire safety norms we are not supposed to go beyond seven seats if we have uh, aisles on only one side if we have only one uh, pathway on only one side and the other side is blocked by a wall then the maximum seats allowed in a single row is seven seats seven numbers okay if you have aisles on both sides then it is like 14 it's double of 7 uh, 14 seats okay, this is the ideal layout and it is also better to incline the side seats to improve the cone of vision okay this is the ideal seating layout okay. now come to the now coming to the section this is the most important part okay and uh, even in movie theaters uh, they used to have a very small stage actually speaking stage is not required but sometimes when a uh, uh, actor wants to uh, give some introduction or something like that uh, sometimes uh, 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 stage is uh, required so you need not to go for a bigger stage like uh, theater you can go with a smaller stage uh, the stage is mainly uh, to add uh, ambience that's it okay so the location of the screen from the stage wall is very important it is better to locate 1.2 meters from the stage wall this 1.2 meter is required to accommodate the facilities such as accommodate the facilities such as speakers all the most of the speakers all the speakers will be like located behind the speakers subwoofers all those equipments will be located behind the screen and this particular screen will be made of perforated fabric it will be uh, having like minute uh, micron level uh, pores in uh, in the screen so it will allow the sound to percolate outside okay and this is also important the height of the screen from the ground level should be minimum 1.2 to 1.4 meter height 
from the ground level and then the where you st- where you are going to start your first row is also equally important the si- where you are going to start the first row is ideally two times of the height of the screen see again here also height of the screen plays a major role hmm, uh, you can either uh, start at the angle of 66 degrees or at the double times the height of the screen but in many cases in many cases people are not following this at least if you can't follow this at least follow uh, the minimum distances diagonal of the screen if you have a diagonal distance diagonal distance in the sense like if this is 22 meter and if this is 9 meter this is what is diagonal diagonal distance okay so this diagonal distance should be the minimum distance from the screen not from here from the screen it should be like from here okay diagonal from the screen this should be the distance okay and this is the first seat and maximum vertical limit should be should be less than 35 degree this is just to cross check already we have selected the screen size and other things this is just to cross check from here it should not be more than 35 degree because if it is more than 35 degrees then it will increase the next train okay but sometimes nowadays uh, in uh, most of the theaters in chennai they are allowing up to 45 degrees but uh, i don't recommend that it's better to cross check and limit within 35 degrees okay and coming to the steps what height we are going to give this is what is again it's another important parameter so it's better to go for 120 mm for each riser why because 120 mm is actually 4 inches that is the distance between your eye and your head okay so and it is also advisable to stagger the seats stagger the seat in the sense if you have two seats like this it's better to locate the next row seat in between okay you have seats like this so that the second row person can view between the shoulders the second row person can easily view between the shoulders if you are going to provide your seating in this manner then 120 mm riser is the ideal size if you are not going to provide in this manner and if you are going to provide back to back seating like this back to back seating like this then it is recommended to go for 230 mm at least 9 inches height riser it is very difficult for us to achieve uh, uh, 9 inches that is 230 mm of riser that's the reason it's advisable to go for 120 mm riser and provide seating in a staggered manner okay and if you are uh, going like this then the riser will be then the riser this riser will become 230 if it is 230 it's difficult for a person to climb up so you have to add one more step so you have to add one more step in between uh, one more step in the one more step just for people to climb up so it's uh, a little difficult it's better to retain it to 120 mm and stagger the seats that's the ideal thing okay and the width of the step should be 1.2 meter that is 4 feet okay 4 feet is the ideal width for each uh, step and uh, it is important to maintain at least 400 mm in between this is a clear distance from the back of the seat if a person is sitting the seat will be like slightly staggered from this till this particular from this to this particular location this clear gap should be of 400 mm this is what is important okay and projection room projection room should be located uh, behind the last row behind the last row uh, generally they locate uh, in the upper floor okay this is for long throw projectors this is for long throw projector nowadays uh, 
a single uh, projector room controls multiple screen that kind of technology is also there okay and uh, coming to the speakers okay in dolby atmos you will be having many number of speakers in the side walls in the side walls and also on the ceiling okay so the distance between each speaker should be between 2.1 meter to 2.4 meters okay the height height should be 2.8 meters minimum minimum 2.8 meters and that is the ideal height also it, uh, like if you provide 2.8 meters it's above your head so it won't get uh, you won't get uh, hit by the speaker at the same time it's not too far away from your ears okay next is the provision of ac ducts preferably uh, for ac ducts in large halls if you are going for a two story or three story height uh, bigger screen theater then generally they locate the ac ducts in the lower reach that is little closer to your speaker line okay that is they locate it here ac ducts okay the moment they locate the ac duct in this particular location what happens is i'll draw the section if you have a wall here size of the ac duct will be like at least 2 feet by 2 feet 600 by 600 or even sometimes it's 1 uh, meter also okay so you can give wall panel just like that so your wall panel will be like so your this is your main wall and your acoustical panel should be like this it can be either like this this is your ac duct okay and this is the acoustical panel all your speaker everything you can also put all your speaker you can also put all your speakers everything inside this particular duct itself so that only uh, sound will be like you can cover it with fabric so that sound the speakers won't be visible outside only the sound can be percolated outside okay this is one way of handling the this is a section this is this is for section i am showing to you at this particular location that is either here okay so you will be having ac ducts running on the both sides okay in some some cases they locate the ac ducts above the fall ceiling okay uh, like auditorium it is advisable to go for non parallel ceiling treatment okay above the ceiling you will be having the this is another option like the best option is to have it in the side walls uh, or uh, you can also have it in the have it above the ceiling if you have it above the ceiling just imagine after your fall ceiling you have the ac ducts running in addition to ac ducts you will be having uh, provision you have to provide provision for fire sprinkler lines and fire alarm sensors all those things will be above the fall ceiling and in addition to that you will also be having ceiling speaker the ceiling speaker will be exactly in the same location of your side wall speaker okay you'll be having this speakers ac ducts and fire lines all these services will be above your fall ceiling until your true ceiling so assume this is your true ceiling okay so all these things will be fixed above the ceiling okay. in addition to that they'll also provide 
a space for space to walk above that is called catwalk that catwalk is just to maintain just for maintenance they'll add a space to walk above just to add the uh, if uh, there is some repair in the uh, electric bulb or speakers or AC ducts anywhere you need some access uh, above the fall ceiling okay so that's uh, that's the reason they'll provide catwalk catwalk space catwalk means uh, you can't walk normally you have to crawl and you have to move there that's the reason they'll call that as catwalk space okay clear with the section okay now we'll talk about exit uh it's very important i hope you people uh, remember uh, like you might have seen this exit will be always exit should be always illuminated and exit should be uh, in green color not in red color it should be in green color as per fire safety norms it should be in green color and it, it should be illuminated to the minimum of 5 lux okay and number of exits how many number of exit we have to provide for any room more than 40 na 40 capacity you have to go for two doors okay uh, while discussing classroom or uh, college camp uh, while designing college campus itself you would have aware that uh, for any classroom of capacity more than 40 seatings you have to go for minimum two doors okay so same rule is applicable here you have to go for minimum two doors and if the capacity is more than 500 then you have to go for four doors if if you are going to provide uh, balconies if balcony is there again you have to provide another two doors for balcony and width of the door in assembly auditorium or even uh, theaters should be minimum 2.1 meter width of the door should be minimum 2.1 meter this should be minimum 2.1 meter okay and coming to the toilet requirements for gents toilet we need for gents we need one water closet per 100 persons you can calculate based on your uh, capacity i don't know what is the capacity they have given for your in the design okay so one water closet per 100 persons and two urinal per 100 persons this is up to first 400 after 400 person add one water closet and two urinals per additional 250 persons okay this is as per the tamil nadu cinema uh, rules okay for ladies two water closet per 100 persons after 400 persons add two water closet per additional 200 persons Okay, this is the same uh, what they will what will follow in uh, uh, follow in our uh, NBC also same thing. Okay. Here, okay, if you have any doubts, please feel free to contact me. Thank you.